I got a question about how do you download the software that's included whenever you purchase a complete Audio 6 interface. So there'll be a card that you get in the box, and we'll have a website that you need to go through, and there'll be serial numbers on that, uh, on that card. So the first thing you need to do is head to that website. We're already on this website here. The first thing you need to do once you get to this website is create an account if you don't have one. If you have one, just go ahead and log in. You can create an account or log in up here, or of course, scroll down. You can always download your documentation here, uh, and you can log in or create account right here. Just click that, go in here and log in or create your account. All right. Once that's done, your page will look like this here. You are already logged in. So now we're ready to continue. Click next. The next thing you need to do is enter your hardware serial number. Okay. That will be on the card I mentioned earlier. Just type that in. In my case, I'll paste it in and then click register. There we go. And that will take you to this page. Now this is the page where you can download the included in this case, what's included is complete elements, you get tractor le two, and a cubase le, okay. And then you have to activate it. And you can activate it in service center, or you can actually activate this in native access, but we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. The problem that some people are having is especially coming to uh, the complete elements. If you look here, and it says PC download, and I click this, it'll download, but it, it's only, you know, one point seven megabytes or so, that's not uh, what you want. What it is is just this here. Now what this is, is simply an executable file that actually runs the ISO. Now this is where it gets tricky because right here it says Mac download ISO. It shouldn't say Mac download because a Windows user actually needs this as well. You need the ISO. Now if you're on Mac, you need this as well. Okay, because because this is all of the content. This is like over four gigs. So even if you're on PC, you can download this. Okay, you actually don't have to but download this and then also download the ISO, even though it says Mac, go ahead and download the ISO. Now this is 4.3 gigs, could take up to an hour, depends on your internet connection. Now I already have it, so I'll cancel that. So after you have that downloaded, we'll head in to our downloads here. All right. So here we are in our downloads folder. And this is what you'll download. This is the ISO. And this simply runs this ISO. Now these two have to be in the same folder for for them to work. All right. So what you can do is just double click here on your complete elements uh, installer, it's just an ISO mounter, or if you want, you can actually double click here or right click and do mount. That's literally the same thing. If you mount it, you can just run it from your PC right here. And uh, Mac stuff is up here. All right. And Macs have a different way of installing. All right. But you can run it right from here. You don't have to actually use uh, this program here. But that's how you install it. So download both of those. Okay, download the Mac download ISO and the PC download exe. And then simply come in here, double click here. That sound you heard is it mounting that ISO and then it's going to install I already have it installed. So I don't need to do this. Okay, so that's really all you need to know. That's how you install your complete elements that is uh, included with your complete audio six. Now for the other things they download just fine. All right, now hopefully they'll change this in the future. But as of right now, early 2018, this is what it looks like. Just make sure if you're on PC, you download both of those. If you're on Mac, you should just need the ISO. And even if you're on Windows, you technically just need the ISO. But uh, the tractor works and Cubase will have its own download and authorization process. All right. So after you download it and install it, uh, you'll have to authorize it. Uh, you can use Service Center if you want. You can also come in here to Native Access. This is the, the latest way to do it and just add a serial and then uh, type in the serial that is on your card. Okay. And then it will activate. You can see I have it activated right here. All right. And you can also go to your native instruments account inside of it. If you come down to my products and serials, this is after you have it, uh, you know, after you have it registered, you'll see it listed in your account along with the serial. You also see a download, but that download actually doesn't do anything. It uh, just brings you to the same exact page to download for PC, which of course is just the executable. It's not the actual content. So if you do it this way, if you want to actually what you can do, you can actually come into native access and register it first, instead of going through all that stuff that we, that we did. Uh, this is going to get confusing. So don't do this. But I'm just saying you could register it to native access first, then just come into your account and download this and then download this it would be the same exact thing. So that is how you download the included software whenever you buy a complete audio six.